liked the most. Let me put it on. But I've done that before. My first coffee of the day. at this view that's so cool good morning <laughs> from Seoul South Korea I got here last night after literally the longest travel day ever and so I couldn't even see the view because it was too dark outside also there was so much smog so I couldn't see anything this morning I'm like oh damn that's Seoul wait can I see the Seoul Tower okay I cannot see Seoul Tower also my hotel is pretty nice it's like a hotel but it was on Airbnb it's pretty nice although I will say like the area when I got here I was like there's literally nothing here like there was nothing in this area so last night the only thing that was open for food was mom's touch which is like a chicken chain in korea so i was like oh my god i wanted to try that like my whole fucking life so i went to go try it boom it was closed the only other thing that was open near it was pizza hut and i was like bitch i don't want pizza hut so i literally just went to the convenience store and had dinner there i got like a i don't know what they're called in korea but i got one of the rice triangles and i also got topoki like in a bowl and microwave it literally just at my hotel and that was my fucking first night but it was so late and i was so exhausted because i have to oh my god it was so hard to get here from the airport i had to take like two different trains i kept getting lost there were so many stairs at the station because they don't have elevators at the stations here so it was really hard with two bags but anyway let me give you guys a hotel tour so first we have the door here and then all my shit just laying around here's a mirror yes lay and then the bathroom we got a nice shower i honestly really hate the lighting in here but like it's a bathroom it works it's nice the water pressure is good i don't mind they also gave me two shampoos and one conditioner but no body wash so did i wash my body with shampoo yesterday you'll never know <laughs> and then going out into the main room we got a closet here that i have not set up i just have my dirty clothes on the floor my bed right here slay it's just like a little twin it was honestly really comfortable last night this couch which is honestly really cute i was laying here yesterday when i got here tv fridge microwave yeah whatever the whole nine yards we got everything here damn this view is really so fucking nice i can't get over this and then i still have not like unpacked i just opened my suitcases and just laid them there i'm in Seoul. So today is like my first first day in Seoul and I'm so excited although I really woke up I was like wait what the fuck do I do like I don't know what to do first I really want to go to the Coex mall which is like that mall with the big fucking like library I'm pretty sure and apparently there's like a ton of stuff there so I'm like okay perfect I want to go to like one place where I can get coffee I can get breakfast I can look around I can shop like I want to look at everything but first I need to get ready it's already what time is it it's already 11 30 <laughs> oh my god I woke up at like 10 but honestly fair like I was so exhausted after yesterday like carrying my bags around everywhere and I traveled for like 12 hours to get Get here even though it's right over the water so you would think it's shorter but it takes longer because of like the trains and stuff yeah i'm gonna get ready and then we are going to go head out into seoul for the first time ever my shirt is wrinkled from being in my suitcase and there's no steamer in this hotel i guess i'm i'm going out with a wrinkled shirt i don't really care but let's go i'm leaving the airbnb and obviously the room looks really nice but it doesn't really reflect once you get in the lobby because Here's my fit check, that's what I'm wearing. So I think that Seoul relies on buses a lot more than Tokyo does. And it told me to take a bus to get to this mall, but I'm really scared to do that. So I'm taking the train anyway, and I'm just gonna try to figure it out from there. But I'm kind of nervous that I'm not gonna be able to figure it out the way that I want to. I literally just started talking. Oh my God, there's a dog right there. I literally just started talking because I was passing people and they were staring at me vlogging and I didn't know what to say. So I was just saying fucking words. Y'all, I found this mirror and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a cute picture, bitch. That's not happening. It's not happening. I don't know where I'm going. What is this? Safety zone? What? <laughs> I don't know. I will say, since I've been in Korea, the train system here is so much more complicated than in Japan. Like, they don't have platform numbers in Korea. So you kind of just have to, like, guess which platform. So it's really confusing. And now I'm in this, like, random hallway. I don't know. I literally don't know where I'm going right now. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all, I think I'm at the library. I've literally wanted to see this so long. Oh my god, this is it. Look. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy. I've always wanted to come here. Oh, I'm in someone's video. But I'm really just trying to find... Oh my god, look at this background. I'm really just trying to find something to eat and get coffee because I'm so hungry right now. But this place is like a huge maze. So I'm really struggling to find like literally anything. But this place is so cool. It's a huge mall. 
I finally found something to eat. One thing about Korea is they actually have oat milk here, where in Japan they literally have oat milk like absolutely nowhere. So I got an oat milk vanilla latte. Lay. Also in Japan, every coffee is just like straight coffee. Like you can't really get any flavors or anything. Mm. Oh my god, that's really good. And then I got a ham and cheese English muffin. Mm. I just stumbled across this place. It's called The Coffee Bean, and it's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go finish this food, and then we are going shopping. Smooth like butter. Anyway, so I'm not really finding much, to be honest. Like, I'm walking around. This mall is huge. I've been in here for, I think, like, two hours. I'm not really finding many, like, stores. A lot of them are, like, mostly, like, women's clothes. So I'm still looking, trying to find something that I, like, really like. I did pack, like, a lot of clothes, but I always need more. Literally having new clothes motivates me to, like, go out and, like, do more things. So I, like, need new clothes just so that I, like, leave the hotel and <laughs> don't just, like, stay in the hotel the whole time. I need more stores. Okay, I'm back home. I was gonna go to the aquarium in the mall, which I think I'm gonna go another day, but I left because I was like, I need to get some work done. And speaking of getting work done, there were so many fucking people at that mall. I saw like five people with bandages like all around their face. Like they weren't lying when they said that everybody in Korea gets work done here. So that was kind of crazy to see in person because I never see that in Japan. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the mall because I only went to one store. Well, I went to a bunch of stores, but I bought three things from this store called Oland, which we have in Japan, but I never went in there because I think it's different in Japan but here they had like a bunch of different like Korean brands in one store which I thought was so cool so I bought like three things because I thought they were so fucking cute so I'm gonna show you guys I was genuinely so excited to come shopping in Korea because the brands here are so fucking good and they're so nice compared to Japan because if you get anything like cute to me it's always so expensive but here it's like cute but also affordable first up I got these pants I'm not really like a joggers type of gal but these were kind of like fitting me some type of way and I was like, wait, they're really cute actually. So I bought them and I think these were $40, but they fit me really well. I could wear them with a lot of outfits and also it's like this material that can pack really flat in my suitcase. These are a good, a good purchase. Next I got this shirt, which at first glance you might think, Ryan, that is literally so fucking ugly. But when you put it with an outfit on my body, I'm like, wait because when i tried it on i was like wait this is so fucking cute look how cute this is it's like such a little like baggy moment vibe and it kind of matches these joggers or these like what are these track pants these are track pants not joggers i'm scared to wash it though to see if it shrinks but like i love how baggy it is i love a shirt that just like kind of hangs on my body does that sound weird i don't know i think it's really fucking cute this next shirt i fucking loved so much this was like the number one thing i liked the most let me put it on i think it shows up a little bit less pink on camera but I got this pink little like button up that fits me so well. Ah, it's this, this is so fucking cute. I'm actually obsessed with this top. They had other colors and I wanted to buy like the white one, but I was like, Ryan, you just need to buy one. Just fucking buy one. But it's so cute. I'm total on literally just these three things. I spent like $120. I don't want to hear it. I know. I felt um, really guilty after I spent that much money on three things. But it's so rare that I ever go shopping and actually fucking find anything that I like or that fits me. So I bought it. I'm so fucking proud of myself right now because since I got here, which was literally less than 24 hours ago, um, I have really been able to balance like working and also having fun at the same time. So I'm really fucking happy about that. But now I'm going to get some work done i need to edit this video because i'm trying to get it up by this weekend so that i don't miss this week i have so much more time in korea i'm here for like what i think six more days or something so i have plenty of time here i kind of feel bad because i'm starting to lose daylight and i'm kind of just gonna sit in my hotel and edit that's life sometimes you just gotta work so that's what i'm gonna go do and i'll catch up with you later Y'all, I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to try this for such a long time. I ended up getting takeout because I was like, wait, this in a movie though? Like, I was sitting there waiting for my food and I was looking at the menu. Guess how many calories this fucking chicken is? 2,000. 2,000 calories for some fucking chicken. And I'm gonna eat all of it. <laughs> Look at these fries. I know y'all are so fucking hungry right now. Mmm. This is like fries from Popeyes. Wait, I don't know if I can eat all of it. 
This is a huge bucket of chicken. Oh my God. I'm gonna try to eat all of it. Also, when I told the guy that I wanted it to go, I think he misunderstood me. So when he gave it to me, it was like for the restaurant at first. And I was like, I really don't want to eat here. Like normally I would just shut the fuck up and like change my mind. Like I would eat there. But I was like, I really don't want to. There was like barely any seating in there either. So I told him and I was like, oh, like I thought I said to go, like, can I get it to go? And he was like kind of mad, but still nice about it at the same time. But that would not happen in Japan. Like they literally, like you can literally request them to fucking do anything and they'll be like, Yes, like it's fine. Like we can do it. And I've heard that like Korea is a little bit less like customer service-y, but I don't mind. He was nice. <gasps> we need a close up. We need a fucking close up. Holy fuck. So this is soy sauce garlic chicken. We're about to try it. My first Korean fried chicken. Oh my God. Ready? Look at how crispy that looks. Uh, oh my god, that's so good. Problem is I know that I'm gonna crave this for like the rest of my life Y'all ever go somewhere and wonder like oh my god I wonder if this is my last time ever like being here in my entire life. I hope not like I want to come back to Korea Maybe I will maybe I won't I don't know so weird to think about I'm gonna go watch love is blind now Yes, I fucking watch love is blind. I know I don't look like it, but I do I love that show. I'll see you later Good morning. I literally look crazy. Once again, I woke up so late. It's like 11 a.m. right now. I love getting good sleep, but these blackout curtains are doing too much. Like, I am waking up so late because I feel like it's 9 p.m. when it's 11 a.m. But good morning, Seoul. Last night, I just edited and I went to bed and I also watched the Kardashians. <laughs> Today, we're going to Hongdae and I also want to go to Myeongdong and... What is that noise? I later realized it's just the train running under my hotel. I feel like I'm not very well-rounded on the areas that are in Seoul, but I'm trying to go to the ones that I do know of. I've been looking up a lot of stuff on TikTok to try to figure out what to do. If you are trying to look up things to do in like whatever city you're going to, do not Google, use TikTok because you get like a visual of everything. And a lot of people who aren't like promoting anything, like just post what they did in X city. So like they know the areas and like you can find a lot of little things that aren't like mainstream or very like touristy that is probably the best tip i can give you as someone who travels a lot no funny business i'm gonna get ready and then i'm getting out of the door as fast as possible because it's already 11. the weather does not look that good outside like like it's giving gloomy okay let's go place because I asked if they have oat milk and she was like yeah we have it and I was like oh I got me a vanilla oat milk iced latte and I got two pastries that look bomb as fuck on top of that look at this place they have like an outdoor seating area but it's raining right now so obviously I'm not gonna go sit out there I had to buy an umbrella and then right when I bought it it kind of stopped raining and it wasn't even really worth the purchase so I was kind of pissed oh my god my food's ready my first coffee of the day oh my god I'm so glad I came here Honestly, it's fine that I didn't find anything shopping because I do not need to spend any more fucking money on clothes, nor do I have room in my suitcase or weight allowance. I need to just fucking get out of here. Like, I don't know why I came to the shopping area, but I got good food. Bye, kitty. This area really reminds me of Shimokitazawa in Tokyo, which is also like the thrifting area, but honestly, there's not that many thrift stores here. It's just like stores, but it's cool. Wait, also, I will say that I do want to go get Korean skincare because bitch, my skin is not skinning lately. Like my under eyes are like so bad. Probably because I'm barely getting any fucking sleep. Wait, these clothes look cute. Maybe I should just get plastic surgery while I'm here. Let me get my entire face changed while I'm in Korea. Y'all, I'm in Myeongdong. Literally everything here, like the English does not make any sense. Please read this. Nasty, awesome kickoff. We don't care about others. Bitch, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Like, why would I want to advertise that? Period. Uh-huh. Uh Period. Get it. I really hope that they have oat milk. You have selected packaging. Did she just tell me? Oh, that sounds good. <gasps> Pistachio cream latte. Change the oat milk. Oh my god, I got so scared for a second because I was like, they literally don't have it. The receipt is coming out. She said the receipt is coming out. Okay, girl. Okay, so there's Doksugong Palace near me. Also, Seoul Tower is like really close to me. I saw it for the first time when I was walking here. This hat's getting like really itchy. I'm like, I literally want to fucking rip it off my head so bad. Also, the way I'm literally going to get copyrighted for this because they play music literally everywhere in Korea. So I'm really hoping 
hoping that it's gonna be like quiet enough that it doesn't pick it up, but I guess we're gonna find out. I think I might go to this palace because I'm really close to it. Honestly, the whole idea of going to see palaces like doesn't really like excite me that much because I've seen so many in Japan. Not just palaces, but like pagodas and like all that. The whole nine yards, I've seen like all of it, but I guess in Korea it's different, but here, I don't know, it just doesn't excite me as much as it would have like two years ago. Let's get this coffee. <laughs> yep, that's really good. I'm something at the convenience store. I keep wanting to call it Komini, but obviously it's not called that here. But my ass just needs some regular, like, plain old water. Because I barely had any water today. So... But I'm at 7-Eleven and they have so many cool things here that are different from Japan. But I'm just getting water right now. One thing that I didn't realize when I was coming to Korea was the fact that it was Chuseok. If you're like me and don't know what the fuck that is, I looked it up. It's like Korean Thanksgiving, but it lasts for like three days. And the main portion of my trip is during Chuseok. But that's a good thing because I just realized this palace that I'm at is free admission during Chuseok. So I get to go here for free right now. I really want to ask someone to take my picture. <laughs> I have no one to take pictures of me here, so I literally have to do everything myself. But I I've done that before or actually I haven't done that before because I get too nervous and I think that's about to happen again but I want to ask someone to take my picture so I'm going to try to do that I don't know who to ask I can't I'm probably not gonna post the picture anyway, so what's the point? Y'all, I did it. I must up the courage to ask someone. I didn't get it on camera because it was like spur of the moment, but I must up the courage to ask someone to take a picture of me and they were so nice. Like it was this cute like couple like around my age, they were Korean and they just took my picture for me and oh my God. Human interaction is kind of like slay sometimes. Like just meeting random people, sometimes it eats. Very wholesome moment. I'm happy now. Very happy to go home now. Let's go. So I just got back to my station. Look what I just found. Why is there a Krispy Kreme donut vending machine? Like you can literally get an entire box of donuts from a vending machine. This is so cool. It's like $10, $16. And the boxes are just right here. What the hell? I'm back. My ass is tired. My feet hurt so bad. I need enrichment time for like 30 minutes. On my way back, I could see this man playing saxophone like in the bushes in a little crack in the park. And I, it was literally just like his face that I could see like playing saxophone. And then like he had this moment where he stopped and like he looked up and saw me like through this tiny little spot in the bushes. And I saw him too. We made eye contact and I was just like good job because I was watching him play saxophone it was really good I think he was playing amazing grace which is like really weird but it was really good and it was just such like a wholesome moment that was so cute anyway I think I'm gonna end the vlog here on that note because I'm back home and I want to edit for a little bit but I hope you enjoyed this vlog in Seoul I'm genuinely having so much more fun than I thought I would here so I'm really happy right now and I'm really excited about all the footage that I got so I'm excited to put it all together and have it on YouTube and see what you guys think make sure to subscribe i love you Mwah. Mwah. bye